Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Fuller High School. I'm Demetrius II. And I'm Joseph Drake. Welcome to another week of Fuller High School on a wonderful Wednesday. We have a lot of announcements for you today, so listen up, because this is the Lime Pride News. My name is George Austin. Here are today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Joshua B. Bow, Leela Fawnville, Angelina Hamby, and Justin Pacheco. And for Monday's birthdays, happy birthday to Marquise Mosley, Demaria Alvarado, and Deanna Shire. And for today's birthdays, happy birthday to Landon Perry, Lauren Young, Cruz Humphrey, and Eddie Patterson. Have a great day and a happy birthday. The month of February is Black History Month. Today, we're talking about Gladys West. She grew up in Dinwiddie County, just outside of Richmond, Virginia. She knew she didn't want to work in a nearby factory or pick tobacco, corn, or cotton in nearby fields as her parents had. She saw education as a way out, and after graduating from high school as the valedictorian of her class, she earned herself a scholarship to attend Virginia State University. She majored in mathematics and became a teacher in Sussex County, Virginia, and ultimately returned to school to complete her master's degree. She began her career at the Dahl Green, Virginia Naval Support Facility in 1956 as the second black woman hired at the base and one of only four black employees at the time. Her work focused on collecting information from orbiting machines that would help to determine their exact location as they transmitted from around the world. Data was then fed into what became known as supercomputers. She says she has no idea at the time that her recordings of satellite locations and accompanying mathematical calculations would become today's GPS system and affect so many areas of life. She said, when you're working every day, you're not thinking, what impact is this going to have on the world? You're thinking, I've got to get this right. Although she was one of the original team of engineers that developed this highly useful system, she was not very well known until now. The Key Club is proud to announce that Richard Wynn was voted as Lieutenant Governor of Division 19 for this week. Congratulations, Richard. Hi, I'm Colonel Douglas. And I'm Master Sergeant Howard. And we're with the ROTC program here at Foley High School. And wanted to tell you a little bit about our program. First of all, ROTC is not a program where we're trying to put you in the military. As a matter of fact, only 3% of our cadets will ever go in the military. But our mission is to develop citizens of character, those who want to work in their community, be leaders in their community, as well as serve this nation. There are a lot of programs we provide, Some, uh, one of which is the leadership program. I'll let Sergeant Howard talk about that, and I'll talk a little bit about the aerospace program. So in our leadership education program, we give you some soft skills, things that you need to know to get prepared to go to work, uh, go in the military, go to college, whatever it is. It's kind of like a career prep course over the four years where you're going to learn everything you need to be successful in life. If you want to learn how to fly an airplane in our aerospace science program, we offer aviation history. We also offer exploring space and survival. As a matter of fact, this year we're offering the space course. Next year we'll be in aviation history. With our space course this year, our plan is to bring our cadets to the Houston Space Center. We also have extracurricular activities, a lot of drill team activities, one of which is the marksmanship program. I coach the marksmanship team, and this is a, one of the rifles that we use. It's an air rifle. Uh, we go to competitions at least two a year, and uh, with this, it can actually lead up to junior Olympic competition, and you can get college scholarships for it. We also have a drone program, a saber team, as well as a drill team. One more thing before we let you go, I wanted to share with you the two main benefits of being in the ROTC program. 
If you are interested in going into the military, if you have three years in the junior ROTC program, you go in as an E2 or an E3, depending on your service of choice. Also, the program offers certification for you to work for the state of Alabama after three years in the program. So there are some very tangible benefits to being here and working with us. Our motto in ROTC is we work hard, but we play hard. If you're interested in our program, we're in room 811. Stop in and see us. We would love to talk to you more about it. See you soon, and go Lions. Hi, I'm Ms. Baker. And hi, I'm Tracy Gardner. And we teach Business Essentials as well as Commerce Communications. Um, business Essentials is a class that you need to sign up for. You can see either one of us for that in room 400. Um, it's a foundation course for any upper level classes that you'd like to take, you know, junior, senior year. Things like sports marketing, sales and promotion planning, and hopefully an internship type class with local businesses. Topics we discuss are economics, financing, um, and advertising. Recently we went over Super Bowl commercials in our class and just um, how these companies spend millions of dollars on these commercials to gain uh, new customers. Um, we do lots of hands-on activities. We have guest speakers come in, sometimes field trips. We watch you know, different commercials, like he said, um, watch shows like Shark Tank to see how these entrepreneurs trying to gain investors, um, get more money so that they can lower the price of their product, the costs. Um, but if it's a class that you're interested in, again, see one of us. Lots of fun things and activities, um, projects that you can do. Come on out. Our biggest project every year is we actually have our students do a business plan. Um, during that time period, you actually pick your location, uh, what type of business you would like to create, and you, we go through all the breakdowns from getting the loan from the, the bank to um, writing a schedule, needing to know how many employees you need to hire, uh, salaries and all of those type of things. So um, something that you can learn, especially if you're interested in one day working for yourself and owning your own business. Um, and if you guys are interested in doing something like that, we're the perfect class for you. So come on out and see us in room 400. Thank you. And now it's time for our locker room report. I'm Joe Sprayberry, and this is your sports schedule for this week. The JV and varsity girls soccer teams will open their season this evening at Daphne. Game times are at 5 and 7 p.m. Tomorrow, the tennis teams will travel to the University of Mobile to match up with Sarah Land High School. Thursday and Friday, both boys and girls soccer teams will be in the Southern Shootout, being held at the Foley Sports Tourism Complex. Good morning, Foley High School. My name is Grayson Mitchell. And my name is Madison Bright. And here's your Lion Pride weather. Tomorrow, we'll have a high of 74, a low of 61, and it'll be partly cloudy. Have a great day, Foley High School. Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. And I'm London Marcella, and today for lunch we'll, we'll be, be having, having breaded or spicy chicken sandwich, french fries, a garden salad, fruit, and a chocolate chip cookie. I don't forget you, girl, but go. Have a good day, you go on Lions. Good morning, Foley High School. This is Ariel Hall with a few words of wisdom. Do you remember Valentine's Day when you were in elementary school? It was a big day. You would go home with a bag full of Valentine's and maybe some candy hearts. Then you became a teenager, and suddenly it was uncool to exchange valentines. Well, guess what? It's never uncool to express love and affection towards others. After all, that's what Valentine's Day is all about, right? So today, get into the spirit of things and show your teachers and classmates a little love and affection. A few kind words will do. A Valentine's note would be even better. Happy Valentine's Day. With well, something to think about, this is Ariel Hall. Make it a great week or not, the choice is yours. What does the synopsis you got for you today? Our shout outs go to Grayson Major and Kaylee Howard. Don't forget at today's B Day, have a great day, Fuller High School.